Time and time again, we've seen that history has gotten it wrong. Billy the Kid was not killed by Pat Garrett. John Wilkes Booth did not die in that burning barn. Amelia Earhart was on a spy mission. There's a lot of American history that needs to be straightened out. It's important to know real history. Some of the most important historical events that you've been taught in school, you've read about in history books, are just wrong. We're the guys that seek the truth. What we do is we find some piece of evidence that does not fit the historic puzzle. We look at history, but we don't look at it like the myth or the legend. We look at it as a cold case where the evidence and the history don't match. I'm a historian. Basically, I serve as the jury. I'm a criminal investigator. The cases that we take on are the ones you read in the history books, the ones that shaped America. We do what amounts to a crime scene investigation. It may be a 100-year-old crime scene. That doesn't matter. We bring modern police methods, investigation, CSI, we bring to bear on these old cases. The case we're working right now is the murder of Pat Garrett. Pat Garrett was a famous sheriff. He was famous for his claim that he killed Billy the Kid. At one time, Pat Garrett was probably the most well-known lawman in America. History says that Pat Garrett was on his way to Las Cruces, and at one point along the trail, he was shot and killed. He shot twice. Shot once in the head, once in the stomach, lodged up here. Okay, history tells us that, that Garrett meets Jesse Wayne Brazel on the road. They start a heated argument. Brazel is on horseback, shoots him in self-defense, He's acquitted. In history, that's how Garrett died. But there's some clues here that don't make sense. We found some information that his glove was off, but it wasn't his gun hand glove, it was his opposite hand. And that went along with the fact that his zipper was down <laughs> and the man was displayed, uh, leads you to feel like he might have been uh, relieving himself. Why does he take off his left glove if I'm gonna shoot you? I'm taking off my glove on my right hand. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to that place. That's COP 101. Go to the crime scene. Because when you get to the crime scene, it always looks different. Right over here is the site. We've got Wayne Brazel on horseback. Garrett's off uh, taking a pee when uh, Brazel shoots him in the head. Garrett got off right here where he proceeded to go to the bathroom. When Pat Garrett's killed in 1908, the investigation was go out and look, and <laughs> today we call it DRT. He's dead right there, DRT. We know when Garrett was brought back to town, a doctor did an autopsy on him. This is how we know the angles of the bullet that entered and exited him. That's roughly Garrett's height. That's exactly Garrett's height. And this is roughly the horse's height. What we'll do is we're gonna look at the shot. Where was the shooter? If you buy into the, the story, the Brazel is the shooter. This is how he's gonna do it, because the bullet went in right at the hat line back here. The hat line? Roughly, yeah. That's about the hat line. We got the bullet entering roughly about the hat line, through the head, and came out just above his right eyebrow. Now, after Garrett is hit, he turns around and then falls backwards. He's face up, legs toward Brazel. Then the second shot, Garrett was laying on his back. The shot was in the lower abdomen, stopped up in his shoulder blade. The second shot, you're too high up on the horse, the angles are wrong. Uh, the bullet would have come out Garrett's back. The second shot does not work. So history is wrong but that second bullet was either not fired by Brazel or it was not fired in the way that we have been led to believe. So we need to think of an alternative. There was another theory that a man by the name of Todd Bailey was in the Arroyo. So let's place Todd Bailey roughly 97 paces away with the rifle, and then we're gonna recreate what we just did, but with a new killer, Todd Bailey. This is Todd Bailey? This is the hypothesized Todd Bailey shot. Hypothesized, you like that word? I, do. I don't.
killed him again. From that position in the wash, the bullet entered the lower abdomen right here, and it ranged upward, lodged up here in the neighborhood, his upper body area of his, of his shoulder blade. The headshot possibly could have been done from horseback. This shot cannot. I'm, t I'm saying the CSI says that somebody's in that Roy shoot. So you're agreeing with me? I hate to. Yes. You know this isn't over. How's that? We need to go see the Bailey family. Well, let's do it. We know that history gets it wrong a lot of times. Everybody that's involved in the Garrett murder are dead, but they don't get away with it. I mean, somebody's got to stand up and go, wait a minute, this is what really happened. It is important to know what the truth is. If you don't have truth, what are you left with? You're left with a facade. Our history is what shapes us as Americans. And we're who we are because of who they were. And if we're being lied to about who they were, then what we are is, is a lie. I mean, why wouldn't you want to know what really happened? Especially if history means anything to you. To the living, we owe respect. To the dead, we owe the truth. And me and my crew are out to get it. <laughs>